What is up guys, Razor Reflect here bringing you another trick shot tutorial and today we have a new trick shot that's come out. I don't really know if it's new, some people are saying it's new, but anyways I'm still going to do a tutorial on it, I thought it was a pretty sick shot, but we're going to do what's called a monkey stall. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it and hopefully you guys can learn how to do it. I think it's pretty sick and a few other people I've showed think it's pretty sick. I've actually just started learning it today, so the shots I hit for it, they're not that great, but they're still pretty good for learning it in one day. But, let's get into this tutorial, and you guys should learn something. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Alright, so this is basically what a monkey stall is. It's where you get on one side of the ladder, and you're actually able to, like, jump from each side of the ladder to get, to, um, to do it. And this is what the shot looks like. To actually do it, is you gotta get on either the left or right side of the ladder. Make sure you're as far over to the left or right as you can be, or as possible, without actually, like, falling off the ladder. You wanna look all the way to your either right or left, depending on what side you're on. And you wanna hit A to jump to the next side, and you wanna do, like, a 300 or a 250 or a 240 or something like that. You don't want to do a full spin. If you do a full spin, you're going to miss it. So you want to do either a 300 or 240. You'll understand when you hit it. It takes a few times to actually get through it and stuff. But you can basically grasp, like, each time to do it. Each time you actually attempt to do it, you get better and better at it. And this shot just really takes practice. It feels really uncomfortable, and it's just really weird doing when you first start it. But this is one of my favorite shots to do now, and I'm definitely going to go for this in a pub. And um, after this, I'm going to show you two variations. Alright, for this variation, you're going to have to know how to um, monkey stall from both sides to do it. This one is just the way you, um, you don't go down the ladder, by the way, monkey stalling. I thought that at first, you actually go up the ladder each time you monkey stall. The most I've actually been able to get out of it is a quad monkey stall from where I start, but if you start lower, you can probably get more than that from doing it. But um, if you're going to do it like a double like I just did there, you're going to have to look again either to your left or right. You're going to have to do the 240 and stuff like I explained in the first part. And then when you actually want to go back the other way, you're just going to have to reverse your direction and you're going to have to do the same thing as you did for the first time doing it. This will take practice and time like actually time spent actually practicing it because it's not easy to do and it's actually pretty hard to make it look pretty clean when you first start out doing it and it's not that hard once you actually learn how to do it once you learn how to do it it's pretty easy and you get used to the shot pretty quick but here let's go on to last and final variation all right so our last variation is a double monkey stall into a mid-air zoom mode now to do this it's gonna take a lot of like practice once you get good at monkey stalls to even add in like pistol switches or anything but like it took me probably a good hour to two hours maybe before i was able to actually do this and if you're going to actually go for the zoom load like I did, you're going to have to know how to zoom load. If you don't know how to do that, I can put an annotation to it in the video. Um, this shot, like I said, it's not hard, or it's hard until you actually learn how to do it. Then it's pretty easy once you get used to it. And it's just, once again, another sick shot to do online. Once you jump off, though, like to actually do the zoom load, you're going to have to do the equipment, like without knifing. You're going to make sure you have to do it with the equipment, like where you just use it and you cancel it and then X and zoom. It's um, how you do it just equipment way. And I don't recommend like doing it the monkey stall at all unless you're like really good at claw because you gotta be really quick at doing claw to actually do the monkey stall to do like doubles and triples and shit. And it's just like it's pretty hard to do if you're not good at claw. So I wouldn't recommend this for like beginners or intermediate claw players. I would just like recommend this if you're like extremely good at claw and you're just able to do fast movements while doing it. Alright, so that's basically the basics of the monkey stall. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.